Welcome to Home Library Book Review, where we select a book right from the shelf and explain its learning through easy to understand text, graphics, examples, and animation, along with discussion with family members. Today, I'm joined with my son Arnav. Hey everyone! Today, we will be reviewing How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It's a classic self-help book. It was published in 1936. The principles in this book will help you to achieve your maximum potential even in today's complex and competitive modern age. To be able to cover maximum principles from this book, we have divided this review into four parts. And it has Goodreads rating of 4.2. Dale Carnegie was an American writer and lecturer and the developer of famous courses in self-improvement, salesmanship, corporate training, public speaking and interpersonal skills. Born in poverty on a farm in Missouri, he was the author of How to Win Friends and Influence People, first published in 1936, a massive bestseller and remains popular today. He also wrote a biography of Abraham Lincoln titled Lincoln the Unknown as well as several other books. Part 3 How to Win People to Your Way of Thinking So Arnav, what do you think by way of thinking? Dad, I think it means my thought process. Yes, it could also mean your ideas, it could be the context, it could also be the subject and also it could mean alignment of your thoughts. So Arnav, shall we get started? Yeah! Principle 1. The only way to get the best of an argument is to avoid it. We should always welcome the disagreement, which is the cause of any argument. We should understand why the other person is not agreeing with us. We should also distrust our first instinct impression and try to look beyond and understand why there is a disagreement. We should also control our temper and remember that we want to solve this amicably. Now we need to listen first what the other person has to say, understand and then speak our subject. And that is how we should be able to end any disagreement and get out of the habit of getting into any kind of an argument. Principle 2. Show respect for the other person's opinions. Never say you're wrong. Even though if we know the other person is wrong, we should never say that up front. We should always give other person to explain his or her thought process and understand why one person is saying something, what he means out of that. And only after understanding the entire context, we should then give our opinion. We should always show respect to other person's opinion and let other person describe what they want to. Principle 3. If you're wrong, admit it quickly and emphatically. Any fool can try to defend his or her mistakes, and most fools do, but it raises one above the herd and gives one a feeling of nobility and exultation to admit one's mistake. So next time if you're wrong, admit it quickly with empathy. Principle 4. Begin in a friendly way. 
the use of gentleness and friendliness is demonstrated day after day by people who have learned that a drop of honey catches more flies than a gallon of gall therefore it's imperative that we always begin in a friendly way principle 5 get the other person saying yes yes immediately in talking with people don't begin by discussing the things on which you differ begin by emphasizing and keep on emphasizing the things on which you agree keep emphasizing if possible that you are both striving for the same end and that your only difference is one method and not of purpose a skillful speaker gets on the outset a number of yes responses the set of psychological process of the listeners moving in the affirmative direction it is like the movement of a billiard ball propel in one direction and it takes same force to deflect it far more force to send it back in the opposite direction principle 6 let the other person do a great deal of the talking most people trying to win others to their way of thinking and do too much talking themselves let the other person talk themselves out they know more about their business and problems than you do so ask them questions let them tell you a few things If you disagree with them you may be tempted to interrupt but don't it is dangerous they won't pay attention to you while they still have a lot of ideas of their own crying for expression so listen patiently and with an open mind be sincere about it encourage them to express their ideas fully principle 7 let the other person feel that the idea is his or her don't you have much more faith in ideas than you discover for yourself than in ideas that are handed to you on a silver platter if so isn't it bad judgment to try to ram your opinions down the throat of other people isn't it wiser to make suggestions and let other person think out the conclusion by doing so we can make the other person agree to our terms sooner than late allow that person to take the center stage while all the ideas are yours and you know how to control your conversation principle 8 try honestly to see things from the other person's point of view Remember that other people may be totally wrong but they don't think so don't condemn them any fool can do that try to understand them only wise tolerant exceptional people even try to do that there is a reason why the other man thinks and acts as he does ferret out the reason and you have the key to his actions perhaps to his personality try honestly to put yourself in his place if you say to yourself how would i feel how would i react if i were in his shoes you will save yourself time and irritation for by becoming interested in the cause we are less likely to dislike the effects and in addition you will sharply increase your skills in human relationship 9 be sympathetic with the other person's ideas and desires wouldn't you like to have a magic phrase that would stop all arguments eliminate ill feelings create goodwill and make the other person listen attentively I don't blame you one iota for feeling as you do. If I were you, an answer like that will soften the most 
Canton Kiris Old Cuss Alive. And you can say that and be 100% sincere. Because if you were the other person, you of course would feel just as he does. Principle 10. Appeal to the nobler motive. We all have disagreements, conflicts and arguments. Just stop yourself in this moment and think why are you having these disagreements or conflict in the first place? Do we really need to continue our arguments or perhaps find an amicable way to resolve? Think about what you want to achieve by the end of the day. If it is harmony and peace, then those are the nobler motives one should aim for. Principle 11. Dramatize your ideas. This is the day of dramatization. Merely stating a truth isn't enough. The truth has to be made vivid, interesting and dramatic. You have to use showmanship. The movies do it, television does it. Principle 12. Throw down a challenge. Every successful person loves the game. Every successful person also loves the chance for self-expression. The chance to prove his or her worth to excel and to win and that is the reason we should throw down a challenge when nothing else works we should try this let's summarize what we have learned so far part three how to win people to your way of thinking principle one the only way to get the best of an argument is to avoid it principle two show respect for the other person's opinions. Never say you're wrong. Principle 3. If you're wrong, admit it quickly and empathetically. Principle 4. Begin in a friendly way. Principle 5. Get the other person saying yes, yes immediately. Principle 6. Let the other person do a great deal of the talking. Principle 7. Let the other person feel that the idea is his or hers. Principle 8. Try honestly to see things from the other person's point of view. Principle 9. Be sympathetic with the other person's ideas and desires. Principle 10. Appeal to the nobler motives. Principle 11. Dramatize your ideas. And finally, Principle 12. Throw down a challenge. Thanks, Dad, for explaining all the principles of this book of Part 3. So, guys, if you missed Part 1 and Part 2, click the link in the description or comments below. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and put comments. Your comments will help us to know what you would like us to work on. And also don't forget to click on the bell notification button so that you are the first one to get more videos like this. Until next time, take care and bye!